Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ, um, YouTube friends. I just wanted to say Happy New Year. And um, this morning I was in prayer, and um, the Lord gave me two different kind of words. Um, normally I get um, quite a few visions and words of warning, but this time I believe um, there is uh, a lot of love in this one specific prophetic word, but first I want to read you the first thing. This is about President Trump. Um, I wrote, as I was praying this morning in my prayer closet, the Holy Spirit told me to tell the nation to continue to pray for President Trump. It was not enough to get him inaugurated as president. We have to continue to pray for him, um, pray for protection over him, pray Ephesians 6 over him, the armor of God. The enemy is coming against him in every way, and we must pray as Christians for a hedge of protection over our president. President Trump is a godly man, but he needs prayer. He needs every Christian in the whole entire nation to rise up and pray for him in unity. Um, and let there be no more division between brother and sister, the Holy Spirit said. Um, he also said, our nation needs to pray together as one body of Christ, removing all division and all labels, coming together ecumenically to pray for our nation and for our president, to ask God for mercy for the sins that we've committed against him. We all need to humbly repent to God, the Father, and ask him to cleanse us to restore our nation. We need to do this as one body, and we need to quit attacking other brothers and sisters in Christ. Only God knows their hearts, and we need to stop the division amongst ourselves. That is of the enemy. The enemy came to conquer and divide, and Jesus came to love and restore. Okay, that was the first one. And I continue to pray, and I ask the Holy Spirit um, what he would like to speak. Um, and he said, um, I'm in really bad lighting. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I'm terrible with technology, so I apologize. Um, so I asked the Lord, I said, what would you like people to, to hear? Or how would you like to speak to them? And the Holy Spirit said, I long to know you. I long to heal you. I long to cleanse you of your sin. I am your heavenly father, Jesus. I breathe life into existence. I ask you to come to know me. I am of truth, light, and love. I am God the Father who sits on the throne of heaven. I am his Son who is Jesus Christ, and I am the Spirit, the Holy One, the Paraclete, the Blessed Trinity. I am all-powerful. I am all-knowing. I am the Alpha and the Omega. I am the beginning and the end. There is nothing in between. I am the Great I Am. And I wish to know you. I wish to love you. I wish to be near you. You are my child. I am your father. I am not far away. I am just a breath away. Call unto me and I am in your presence. I long for my children. My heart aches for my children, especially the lost. Wouldn't an earthly father do as such? I long to fill your needs and desires. Pardon me, I lost my place. I long to give you blessings of abundance. I long to bless your children and your children's children, but first you must come to know me before it's too late. I am of love and understanding, my joy and peace overflowing. I want to share it with you. Knock and the door will be open to you. Ask, and you shall receive. Seek, and you shall find me, your God and your Father. Let this be a new dawn, a new day, a new step in the right direction of the path of my righteousness. Every chain will be broken, every sorrow, every sadness, every addiction, crushed by my mighty hand. I am all-powerful. I can do all things. What you ask of me will be done if it is in alignment with my will. I long to bless my children. It doesn't take much to begin this journey with me, just a willing heart, repentance, and humility. If you 
ask me to come into your heart, I will dwell there forever. I am Jesus. I am of love. My light shall shine from within you for the world to see. And with peace and tr tranquility from the Holy Spirit, you will exude. I want you to read Psalm 91. I want you to read my word, the Holy Bible. My word is alive. My word is powerful. My children know that my love for you is beyond the love that you understand between humans. My love is everlasting. My love is not conditional. My love is infinite. Come to know me. Come dwell in my peace. Let me help you. Let me sur surround you with my love. Your salvation is in me. This invitation is open for you at all times. Come to know me. Come to trust me. Pardon me. I am your Heavenly Father. I am also a father to the fatherless, the orphan and the widow I will not forget. Come to me now, child. Come to me in your broken brokenness. For it is in your humility that I can work my best when you remove all pride, all greed, all sin. Come to me and I will embrace you with my loving arms and transform your life and you will never again be the same. I create in each and every one of you a purpose before you were born. I long to see this purpose fulfilled in honor of my kingdom. I will empower those who step forth asking for my guidance. If you come to know me, I will lead you and guide you on the path of righteousness for my name's sake. I created you, so let me do a great work in you. Let me transform you into a righteous child of God. I long for you to know just how much I love you. With an everlasting love that never fades, never dies, never changes or wavers, it has no ebbs or flows, no ups and downs. It doesn't change with emotions. My love is pure. It is of solidity, as am I. I, your Father, want to be here for you. Let me shelter you in the storm. Let me hold you in my loving arms. Let me comfort you in your sorrow. Let me take all your worries and your strife. All you have to do is come to know me. My name is Jesus. Will you let me in? I am patiently waiting for your reply. I hope this touches someone today. I hope it blesses someone today. I hope it edifies and encourages someone today. Um, you know, I had another channel and I started off, I think, believe back in August and I had to change channels. Um, I had a problem with a subscriber. Um, so I temporarily hid my channel and since that time, I have had the worst issues with computers and things to try to get my old channel back. So my new channel, I think I have seven subscribers, but it's not about me. It's about me trying to be obedient to the Lord Jesus Christ. So um, my other channel had the same name. And like I said, I temporarily hit it and tried to get it back and it, I got locked out of it. It's a long story, but since then I've had tremendous trouble. Um, just this week, my computer completely crashed. Um, so I just want to encourage people that are under attack, people that are um, have prophetic gifts and are trying to be obedient to God. Um, just stay encouraged and don't give up the good fight. Um, this is for our Lord Jesus Christ and Savior. And like I said, I hope that this word encourages someone today. And God bless you all.